Chicago streets will soon be filled with competitors in this year's marathon and lined with cheering crowds. Yeah, the 44th event is on course for Sunday and all four defending champions are returning to compete. WGN's Gaynor Hall has more on the race. Counting down the hours until the Chicago Marathon this morning, we heard from some of the elite athletes who are chasing victory and maybe records. It's possible to, uh, to challenge uh, the world record because uh, the course is faster. Defending champions and determined challengers. My main goal is to try to break 220 and if I'm feeling good and the record's like within striking distance, um, I'll take a stab at it. Gearing up to compete in this year's Chicago Marathon. It could be different from last year and pretty much I'll be deciding as I go along. Joan Benoit Samuelson knows all about the pre-race preps. Most elite athletes hold their cards very close to their chests. They don't want to show any vulnerabilities or anything like that. So I think the fact that you just get out there, size up the size up the crowd that's running with you and, and, and most importantly, run your own race. In 1984, the running legend won gold in the first women's Olympic marathon. The following year, she won the Chicago Marathon, setting a record that lasted decades. After a knee replacement and finishing last week's London Marathon, she's sitting this event out. <laughs> But she says Chicago feels like home. I've always felt when you have great competition, it creates great performances. This year, race director Carrie Pinkowski says there are a couple of changes to the 26.2 mile course. 40,000 people are participating with more than a million spectators expected along the sidelines, cheering them on every step of the way. A couple of little adjustments. I think it's going to make it a little bit faster, so we'll see if that helps uh, help some of these fantastic athletes go a little bit quicker. And the weather is cooperating with cool and dry conditions expected for race day on Sunday. Reporting from the Chicago Hilton, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.